We're getting word that the jury now is um, has been warned and is looking at some pretty graphic crime scene photos. But uh, Tanya, I wanted to get your opinion as we looked at both of those opening statements. Who do you think won the day, just based on that? Alone? Well. Yeah, so I've been thinking about that, and, and I think just based on the opening statements, that if I had to give it to somebody, I would give it to the defense. Not because they necessarily won, but I think they were close enough in terms of performance and creating questions that it could be probably a tie between the state and the defense. And if there's ever a tie between the state and the defense, it goes to the defense because the burden of proof mm -hmm. and the burden of persuasion remains with the prosecution. prosecution. All Absolutely. right, Joey? From a defense perspective, I think the defense uh, took the day from an opening statement perspective in terms of laying out what the case is. But then when you get to the witnesses that we haven't gotten to as a whole, when you talk about the mom going on of Chad Littlefield to talk about the 38th birthday, when you talk about the widow of Chris Kyle going on to talk about his help of veterans, it's a really tough. But quickly, Christy, it's not a who done a case. We know who done it. Did the defense do enough to say, you know what, my client was in a grip? Of psychosis. Right. He did it, but he didn't know that what he did was wrong. Right. That's exactly. what it comes down to at the end. Thank you both so yep. much. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you. Always My good pleasure. to have you here. Keep it here on HLN. We've got more coming up.